Hi, Al Selman here with a TGIF Video Minute. I don't know about you, but I've been very concerned with the direction our nation's going over the last several decades. And it seems that every time we turn around, there's another liberal policy put in place that reflects the liberal uh, nature of our government and where we're going as a nation. We're moving away from some of the foundations that have made our nation great. And, uh, you know, it reminds me, when we look at the scriptures, what happens to nations when they fall away from God, God usually gives them a leader that reflects the moral condition of that nation and the people in that nation. You know, it reminds me of a quote from Abraham Kuyper, the Prime Minister of the Netherlands back 1901-1905. Oh, no single piece of our mental world is to be hermetically sealed off from the rest, and there is not a square inch in the whole domain of our human existence over which Christ, who is sovereign over all, does not cry, mine. Now, wouldn't it be great if we had some political leaders that were expressing that today? In the Old Testament, we find a story about Josiah. Josiah was, uh, has a unique description of him that is unlike any other king in the entire Bible. Look what it says about him in 2 Kings 22.2. And he did what was right in the sight of the Lord and walked in all the ways of his father, David. He did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. Here was a man at eight years old becomes king of Israel. And later in his life, he discovers some old documents, uh, which are the Bible. And uh, he found what God uh, said about nations and what, it was, what was required to bless a nation. And so he immediately repented. And it was an amazing story where you see Josiah got before God, got on his face and repented and said, Oh God, our nation has fallen away from you. And so I want to show you the four key things that were required in order to turn that nation back and what we might learn as a nation ourselves. Outward reform begins with inward renewal. That's the first principle we need to learn. And uh, personal renewal and repentance is the first thing that Josiah did. He took it personally and he uh, took on ownership of the issue and the condition of his nation. The second thing he did was that uh, he realized that personal change, his own individual life, had to change. Uh, so he started a process where the leader really starts that process in his own life and it began to flow out of him into his administration. And the third thing is that there was public change implemented. Uh, he destroyed the idols in his nation. He saw where he was dishonoring God at every aspect of the laws and the principles and the things they were actually doing in the nation. And we certainly would have to make those kinds of changes ourselves. And the fourth thing is there had to be public reforms. And so he destroyed the idols and, and the laws began to be changed. And as a result, he had a nation for 31 years he ruled over the nation and it was a nation that was sold out to God. And so these are the principles that we need to be aware of if we want to see change in our own nation. I encourage you to read my book, Change Agent, Engaging Your Passion to Be the One Who Makes a Difference. The book is divided into three areas, how we lost culture in America, the six stages that God uses to raise up change agents like Josiah, and then there's a chapter each on each of the seven cultural mountains that most define what the culture believes and, and, and the values they adopt. So I hope that will encourage you. Just check it out at tgifbookstore.com. God bless.